Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by this contest to win one of my I Shoot Raw Think Tank Retrospective 30 camera bags. It's really easy to get entered. Just head on over to bit.ly slash give me raw. That's right, give me raw, and follow the instructions to get more entries. And oh yeah, you get the most entries if you download or have already downloaded the My Gear Vault app on your phone. First up, this can be classified as a oops. I it looks like the DJI Mavic 2 has been leaked by the UK retailer Argos. Steven, I've never heard of Argos. Argo f yourself. How does this happen, you may be wondering? Well, a few weeks ago, there was supposed to be an announcement from DJI in New York City, which got canceled at the last minute. So I think someone forgot to tell Argos and BAM! They released this ancient thing called a catalog. Now for those too young to know what a catalog is, it's this book that comes in the mail and lists items with pictures, descriptions, and pricing. And when you find something that you want, you fill out a form, mail it back with a money order or COD, and BAM! You get your item in four to six weeks. Or I could have just said it's kind of like what Amazon is today. That's what catalogs were like yesterday. Oh, I believe. And by yesterday, I mean 20 years ago. Here are some of the listed specs. The Mavic 2 will have 1080p video transmission up to five miles away. It will fly at speeds up to 45 miles per hour versus 40 miles per hour of the original Mavic Pro, and it will be up in the sky for up to 31 minutes compared to 27 minutes of the original. It will include omnidirectional obstacle avoidance as well as improved active track 2.0. But wait, there's more. There's not one new Mavic, Steven. There's actually gonna be two. What? Two? That's right, there's a DJI Mavic 2 zoom listed. The zoom is said to have, guess what? A 2X optical zoom lens that goes from 24 to 48 millimeters. Reports are saying that the camera may be made by Hasselblad, who DJI bought a majority ownership in last year. Now, one thing that I was confused about is it says that one of the drones will have a one inch sensor, and I'm kind of assuming that the zoom drone will not have a one inch sensor, but I also don't know what it will be priced at. Now, would you want a one inch sensor or would you want the zoom? Next up, we have something that didn't quite make it into last week's news, and it's from Fuji. Fuji must think that they're a real camera company. Sorry, I'm not real. If you let me, I'll be so real for you. And by real, I mean a massive force in the industry. Steven, thank God that's actually in the script right here, because if I didn't say that, the Fuji lovers would be all over me in the comments. By the way, they're worse than Pentax users. Last week, Fuji made a bunch of announcements starting with two new XF lenses. The first is the 8 to 16 millimeter f2.8, which will give you the full frame equivalent of 12 to 24, but will come at a hefty price of $2,000. Next, Fuji decided to go long, real long. I love Bobby Long. By announcing an XF 200 millimeter f2 lens and a 1.4 X teleconverter. The 200 millimeter f2 gives you a 35 millimeter equivalent of 305 millimeters. And when you add the 1.4 X teleconverter, you will be getting 427 millimeters. Now, if you decide that this is for you, the lens and converter kit will cost you $6,000 when it's released in October. Funky. Loving. That's insane. Did he say funky butt loving? I honestly don't get spending full frame money for crop sensor lenses. Now with a statement like that, I know the Fuji lovers are gonna have a lot to say, so go for it. Leave me some comments below. I triple dog dare ya. By the way, stay tuned for my X-H1 real world review that is due to come out next week because it's gonna be a good one, maybe. And finally, Canon announced a new mirrorless. Really, Steven? A point and shoot camera? That's their answer to what Nikon came out with last week? I have one thing to say about that. <laughs> Introducing the new Canon PowerShot SX740HS. Whoop de freaking do, Canon. Steven, do I really have to read the specs? Yes. You're making me read the specs? Yes. Really? Is Canon paying you for this? This is a 20.3 megapixel small sensored 40X optical zoom camera with a three inch 180 degree tilting screen that will be perfect for shooting your selfies at 10 frames a second. Kind of like this. Steven, I'm coming up with something new instead of duck face. It's called duck 
DuckTales. It will come in black or silver and will be available in August for a price tag of $399. You know, it must be a slow news week this week. What are you waiting for, Canon? Put something out that somebody cares about other than Ken Rockwell. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.